guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today is going to be the first episode of a three episode series that I decided to do in the month of January. It's all about decluttering and today I'm going to tackle underneath the kitchen sink. As you can see, I have a ton of stuff under here. This is kind of like a catch all for everything that we use and a lot of stuff that we don't use. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and clean all of this out and try to get it decluttered, get rid of some things that I don't use, empty things, um, stuff like that. So I hope this motivates you to start cleaning up an area that you have that needs to be decluttered. Um, what I went ahead and started with is just taking everything out of the cabinet and then I actually spread it out around me so I could take a look at everything, see what I needed, what I didn't need. And believe me, there was a ton of stuff under there that I did not need. If you guys have any space or area like this that needs decluttering, go ahead and leave me a message below. Let me know how you're going to declutter, if this motivates you, and make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss out on the next two videos that we have. Also, are you guys the same as me that you still keep plastic bags under your sink? I swear I tell myself I'm going to stop doing it every time we go to the grocery store, but then again, we always end up needing them for some reason. So let me know as well if you guys are plastic bag keepers. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I So here's a look under the sink after I got everything pulled out. I went ahead and wiped out all of the dust and dirt and then I went ahead and sprayed everything down with an antibacterial spray, wiped it all out and then I let it dry because I actually found some contact paper at Dollar General. It was really inexpensive. I got two rolls and I didn't only need but maybe a quarter of one. But I'll probably just go ahead and keep it because like I said, it was really inexpensive and I can use it in some other places. They had a few different options, but I just got this little um, geometrical gray and white. I thought that would go really well. It brightened everything up. It's really easy to do, I will say, but if you can see back there, I have a bunch of pipes and um, we we had a little little bit of a fight with that but i went ahead and got the first roll out and then i actually used i'll show here in just a second my um pampered chef scraper that i used for my stone and it actually worked out really well because i didn't have anything else to kind of use to flatten it all down but like i said it worked so pretty much use whatever you can find and it really does help too that on the back side of the paper it does have the grids so you can cut a straight line but I swear you guys I think my uh, cabinets are off because I cut that straight and it didn't go down quite as straight but we made it work if I let me figure out From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down All 
right, so after I got the first layer down, I only had this little bit in the back to do, but like I said, it was gonna be the hardest part. So what I did was cut one strip that I knew was going to cover that back row, and then I went ahead and grabbed a pen, and I thought the smartest thing to do would be to just kind of trace around the bottom of where the pipes were, and then I could just cut it out, and it would magically work. So after about 45 minutes of lots of trying, lots of tears, and many meltdown, it didn't work, you guys. So I spent all that time trying to do it, and I really thought, you know, this is going to be easy. I just have to trace it and cut it out and it didn't work. So I scrapped that whole thing and just left the back part the way it was and it's okay. We're, we're okay. It's, it's fine. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling So once I decided that that was not going to happen, I went ahead and started putting everything back in underneath the sink. This is a little um, rack that I had already had in there, but I went ahead and made it smaller. It's an adjustable rack, which is really nice because I felt like it took up way too much room um, in a space that I didn't have a lot of room to begin with already. So what I did was I went ahead and put everything in the back that we don't use a lot of, um, like the light bulbs we don't use every day, and then the bigger jugs of like the refills of things I went ahead and put back there. Also, while I was at Dollar General, I picked up this really cute little basket. It was only $2, and I used it to hold my sponges and my scouring pads just to kind of keep everything together um, nicely and neatly as best I could because I knew that I was still going to have a lot of stuff in here. And then just like everything else, it took me a few minutes to kind of decide where I wanted to place everything, how it was going to be easily accessible, um, just like I do with everything else, decorating and all that stuff. I'm sure you guys can relate, but I did end up getting everything back in there and looking really nice. So stay tuned in just a second and you will see the before and after. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you everything that I did end up getting rid of. These are items that we either don't use any longer or they were empty and I don't know why they were still in there, but they were. So I wanted to go ahead and show you a before. This is what everything looked like before I took everything out. I swear you guys, I don't know why or how um, things get this way, but they do. I know I'm not alone. I do have quite a few more spaces in my home that I want to declutter, so make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss the rest of the decluttering videos for the month of January. And here is the after. You guys, I feel so much better that this is done. All I had to do really was make myself sit down and take the time to do it. It didn't take that long. It's just always something in the back of your mind that you'll get to later, but it makes you feel so much better and I really am glad that I did it. So if you guys need some motivation, make sure you're subscribed. Come back and see me for the next video. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching today. I always say this and I always mean it, but I appreciate you and I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.